These next images are equally dramatic, no doubt about that. What is in question is the safety of the people who posted them on the internet. Teenagers in BC dressed as superheroes who tried to catch real life predators. The Nationals' Duncan McHugh has that. It's the talk of this Chilliwack school. Batman and Flash hang out here when they're not busy attempting to nab pedophiles. This man's a pedophile. It was all posted on YouTube. Two masked Avengers publicly shaming a man they call a pedophile. This man right here is a sex offender. That is a sex offender. <laughs> it's the work of four young men, two of them now known to be students at the Chilliwack School who set up the stings in an online chat room, posing as a 15-year-old girl. Inspired by this American show to catch a predator, men are lured to a home over the internet where a camera crew pounces, followed by police. But sometimes, the alleged pedophiles arrive with weapons, dangers the Chilliwag youths were lucky to avoid, say police. They're basically putting someone into a corner, and you never know how this potential offender might react. Why are you here then? But holy entrapment, Batman, why the costumes? Turns out this phenomenon of real-life superheroes is taking off. 200 crusaders and counting, patrolling the streets of cities across North America. You see something wrong and nobody else is fixing it, so somebody has to. Most do charity work, such as helping the homeless. This Hollywood photographer who tracks good deeds by real super folk applauds the Chilliwack do-gooders. Hopefully they as a community will inspire others not to put on a costume, but to just be more compassionate, to look out for their neighbors, to be concerned citizens. Oh, what the hell? But one self-proclaimed superhero, Phoenix Jones, a.k.a. Ben Fodor of Seattle, is now in trouble himself. After fighting real crime, from preventing theft to stopping drunk drivers, Fodor was charged with assault last month. He used pepper spray to break up a fight. The Chilliwack vigilantes have now hung up their capes after being rebuked by police. As for the five stings caught on tape, they've been yanked off of YouTube. An RCMP child exploitation unit is now reviewing them. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Vancouver.